What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some beginner tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A04s to help you get more comfortable using it. Now if you end up wanting to learn more about this phone, definitely check out the description where we'll be linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a quick way to change your wallpaper and also customize some other aspects of your home screen. So what you're going to do is press and hold your finger on any blank spot on your home screen. So like this, in this screen is going to show up. As you can see from here, you can change your wallpaper, customize your themes, add and remove widgets, and access some additional home screen settings. So it definitely makes customizing your home screen really quick and easy. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to change your screen timeout time. This is really useful if maybe you're reading a lot and you want to make sure your screen stays on. So to change your general screen timeout time, what you're going to do is go to settings. From here, go to display. And from here, screen timeout is right here. So as you can see, you can set it as short as 15 seconds or as long as 30 minutes. Really, I only have mine set to 30 minutes for these videos, but keep in mind, when you have a really long screen timeout time, if you forget to lock your phone, it will stay on and drain the battery. So that is worth considering. But if you are in a situation where maybe you're reading a lot, for example, and you do want to make sure your screen stays on, but at the same time, you still don't want to have to worry about accidentally leaving your display on and having it drain your battery. Luckily, with the Samsung Galaxy A04s, there is actually an alternative. So if you go back to the main settings menu, so as you can see right here, main settings, from here, go down to advanced features. So right here, and from this menu, go to motions and gestures. And now what you're going to want to do is toggle on keep screen on while viewing. Now once you do this, basically what's going to happen is the phone is going to detect your face with the front facing camera, and as long as you're looking at it, the screen's going to stay on. That way you can have a more reasonable screen timeout time, but at the same time if you're doing something like reading, the phone is still not going to fall asleep in the middle of it. Now I'm going to show you how to change your system navigation. Now as you can see, by default, we do have the typical three buttons you usually get with an Android phone, but we do have some other options here. So if you go to settings, from here, go to display, and from here, go to navigation bar. So right here, and as you can see, again by default, we are going to have button navigation. And if you want, you can switch the button order. So by default, recent apps will be on the left and the back button is on the right. But if you want, you can switch them around. Or you can also use swipe gestures, which is pretty much no buttons at all. So if we go here, as you can see, instead of buttons, the navigation bar has one line instead. Now in case you've never used this before, let me give you a quick rundown of how it works. When you have gesture navigation, to go home, swipe up like this. To go to your recent apps, drag your finger partially up. And to go back, swipe from the side. Now I personally like gesture navigation on some phones, but with the Samsung Galaxy A04s or really any Samsung for that matter, it just feels kind of wrong. So I personally prefer button navigation instead. But if you haven't already, I definitely recommend giving gesture navigation a try because you might end up liking it. At the end of the day, it's really up to personal preference. And when it comes to system navigation, there's really no right or wrong. Now I'm going to show you how to hide an app. This is really useful for those apps you can't delete, like the Galaxy Store for example, but you might want to not only get them off your home screen, but also out of your app drawer too. So to hide an app, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the menu I showed you at the very beginning. So again, on the home screen, press and hold on a blank spot like this. From here, go to settings. And from this menu, go to where it says hide apps on home and app screens. From here, basically all you have to do is select whatever app you want to hide. So I'm going to go to Galaxy Store. And now this app is currently hidden. If you ever want to unhide it, all you have to do is come back to this menu and hit the minus. But when you're done, hit done. And now as you can see, the Galaxy Store is nowhere to be found. And again, if you want to unhide it, go back to that same menu. So press and hold. Go to settings. Go here. And again, all the hidden apps are going to be right up here at the top. So if you want to unhide something, hit the minus. Hit done. And now if we go back to the app drawer, the Galaxy Store is once again back, but keep in mind if you have something on your home screen and you hide it, it's not going to go back to your home screen, so you will have to put it back yourself. Now I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy A04s. Now this is a real easy thing to do. All you have to do is press the power key and the volume down key at the same time, and keep in mind, you don't actually have to hold these buttons, just press them once like this. And that's pretty much it. This toolbar is going to show up. You can edit, share, whatever you want to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, one thing I do want to point out is some people have mentioned they don't really like that toolbar, but luckily with this phone, you can get rid of it. To do this, what you're going to do is go to settings. From here, go to advanced features. So right here. And from this menu, go to screenshots. And we have a few different options here. As you can see by default, the toolbar is going to be on, but you can turn it off. 
And now if you take a screenshot, it's no longer gonna show up. Now, if you have the toolbar on, you can also have it automatically delete as soon as you share it from the toolbar. Definitely good if you wanna avoid clutter. You can also hide the status and navigation bars. So if we do that, go to the photos. And as you can see, it did actually hide the status and navigation bars. And then finally, you can also change the screenshot format. So by default, it's gonna be a JPG, but you can also change it to a PNG. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a feature called touch sensitivity. Now this is really only applicable to those of you who use screen protectors, but I figure since screen protectors are becoming more and more popular, this is probably a good feature to know about. So what this feature does is basically makes the screen a little bit more sensitive. So that way, if you have a screen protector, the phone is still gonna be just as easy to use. So to activate touch sensitivity, go to settings. From here, go to display. And from here, it's gonna be all the way down. Right here, toggle it on. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you how to control which apps can send you notifications. Now this is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to do as soon as you get your phone. Because keep in mind, the more apps you have, the more notifications you're gonna get. And if you're getting a bunch of unnecessary notifications, not only can this be annoying, but also makes it easy to miss something important. So to manage your notifications, what you're gonna do is go to settings. From here, go to notifications. From here, go to app notifications. And this is basically gonna show you all the apps on your phone. To turn off notifications for a certain app, simply toggle it off and you're no longer gonna get them. Now we're gonna take a quick look at the sound menu. To get to the sound menu, go to settings. From here, go to sounds and vibration. So up top, the first thing we got here is the sound mode. So by default, sound will be on, but you can also set it to vibrate or mute. And as you can see, when the sound is on, you'll also have the option to have it vibrate when it's ringing. Under this, we got the ringtone and notification sound. So pretty straightforward here. If we go to the ringtone, we got a default. There are several presets, and you can also add your own up here. For the notifications, it's pretty much the same thing. Then from here, we got system sound. So if we go here, from here, you can control the system sound volume. So you can make it really loud or really quiet. Under this, we got touch interactions. This is gonna be off by default, but then dialing keypad, Samsung keyboard, charging, and screen lock sounds are all gonna be on by default. And of course, you can toggle these however you want. After this, we got volume. So if we go here, we got several different volumes here. So ringtone, pretty self-explanatory. Media, so if you're watching a video, listening to music, stuff like that. Notifications, and then again, system sound. Then we got call vibration. So if you either have your phone in vibrate or the vibration while ringing is on, you can actually change the vibration pattern. So you got a bunch of different options here. Notification vibration, so again, pretty much the same thing. System vibration, so a bunch of different options to play around with. And then finally, vibration intensity. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to edit your quick menu. Now, this is basically the menu that shows up when you pull down the shade like this. So one, two, and this is pretty much it. There's a bunch of different features here. Some of them are really useful, but some of them you might not actually use, and it kind of just clutters everything up. So if you ever wanna edit this, what you're gonna do is hit the plus right here, and this is gonna show you everything you currently have on the menu. So if you wanna remove something like, for example, mobile data, I'm gonna take that off. So press and hold, drag it up here, and now that's gone. And if you wanna add something, pretty much the same thing. So press and hold, drag it over, and that's pretty much it. When you're done, hit done. And if you wanna reset it, hit reset. And there we go. And finally, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to change your screen lock. Now by default with this phone, the screen lock is gonna be a pin, and I also have the fingerprint scanner on. But we do have a couple different options here. To change it, go to settings. From here, go to security and privacy. From here, go to lock screen. From here, go to screen lock. Enter your current pin. And now, as you can see, you can choose between swipe, pattern, pin, password, or none. Swipe is basically, as you can see here, no security. Pattern is a little bit of security, but not really that much. Pin is basically the standard. And if you want really high security, you can always use a password. Under this, you can turn on face unlock and fingerprints, but keep in mind, to set these up for the first time, there is another step. So to set up the biometrics, select the face unlock and fingerprint scanner. What you're gonna do is go back. So again, we're in the main security and privacy menu. From here, go to biometrics. And as you can see, you can register your face and add fingerprints. But this concludes my beginner's guide to the Samsung Galaxy A04s. Again, if you do want to learn more about this phone, definitely check out the description, where I will be linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kleepas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.